Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're creating a custom kitchen island top. Um, it's gonna be featured in an engraved map of Mount Hope Bay. The really cool part is uh, he's actually gonna be joining us on this build. He's gonna be helping us with the epoxy pour. So we hope you stay tuned and watch us uh, build this fun project. Let's get to work. We just finished this countertop and uh, Jay's on his way here. He wants to take part in this project. I think it's really cool. So we're gonna prep this for him. He's gonna pick his colors and we're gonna pour this together. What's going on, Jay? What's up, buddy? You ready to pour your countertop? Hell yeah. You got some colors picked out? I do. All right, what are we doing? So we picked, uh, to tell you the truth, I can't remember. I think it was these, the dark ocean blue. Yep. And the other one, and I kind of just swirled them together and. It looks like what I'm looking for. All right, you're in the right hands. You got some wise bond epoxy. You got some eye candy pigments. Got Let's some, do. Got some black walnut. Got Beautiful. some black walnut. All C and C'd out. Let's do this. I gotta say, the guy down next to me, um, he's a woodworker. He does mostly refurbishes hardwood floors and stuff like that. I was asking him if he had any slabs or whatever, because I was gonna do it on my own. He's like, well, there's a place up in Coventry. I know they do all that stuff. They got some really beautiful things. And oh, cool. That's what I'd love to hear it. Yeah, so I mean, all the way out at where I am, somebody, you know, yeah, that's pretty awesome. cool. I'm still gonna get bubbles, but you're not. You're doing the opposite. You're not introducing air, right. you're kind of. Yeah, and always, get it in there first and then spin. That way you're yeah. not. Yeah, and it'll, you know, you really jack the drill up, it'll, it'll kind of just splash everywhere. Next day. We are now ready to do the top coat pour. We're in a separate room because we're trying to keep this as dust free as possible. So I've leveled this off. Now I'm taking some mineral spirits and just cleaning it to make sure it's dust free. And then once this is dry, we're gonna apply our first coat. But what I did with Jay's countertop is sometimes if you don't put epoxy on both sides, it'll actually, it'll just start bending. I'm just putting a thin layer. It's not gonna be anything pretty. It doesn't need to be. It's going on the bottom. This uh, should be fine. Then we'll flip this back over tomorrow, finish the top and then deliver this thing. Now that the Rubio's on the bottom, next thing we gotta do is wrap it up and head up to Jay's to install.
I can f***ing get through here. This week's build, we are crafting a cut... Uh, so we hope you stay tuned and join us in this front project.